Welcome to the sound tutorial for Task Force Elite Editor. On this tutorial, I'll touch subject about how to place global sounds and localized sounds in your map. Let's start with the global sound. To add a global sound to your map, let's say a background wind noise, you go into your collections, sound effects. Actually, let's go into sound, which has a more options and we'll find uh, we need to find the sound for wind so let's just type here wind so we have a few of them um, I would uh, you want to choose a wind noise that has the final word is Q sound Q the difference between the normal sound and the sound Q is that the sound Q it works like um, a more uh, a sound with some op additional options I'll show you right uh, how, how it looks like uh, for example this one here uh, wind in late autumn wood let's play it okay I like this sound for for the map and the only thing I need to do in order because it's already a sound cue and it has a full loop is just to pull this sound into the viewport it does not matter I where the icon for the sound is placed uh, for uh, the, the reason that um, in this particular situation since it's a global sound and it will play in the map uh, entirely uh, and not, it's not localized then any anywhere in the map it's fine uh, you can uh, see if you want to see the options available for or the embedded options into this uh, sound queue you click double click on it and you can see uh, how this sound is designed so this pretty much works like almost a blueprint for the sound you have the original sound here that pulls up the file for the sound from the project and I uh, pulled in this particular situation there is a looping module which you can add a looping module by drag and drop from the list here and connecting the original sound into the loop and from the loop into the output and here you can tell the system if you want the sound to loop all the way so from the start to finish of the map or if you want it to loop a certain amount of times like let's say four times for for the global sound, you'll want probably to have a infinite infinite loop. So you'll select this option here. For the sounds that you find on the sounds collection, most of these sounds are already coded like so, and you just need to pull into the into the viewport. So uh, this takes care of the global sound. You just need to pull in it, just drag and drop into the into the environment here. And it's done. Now let's talk about the more advanced options for the sounds. Let's say that I would like this tree to emit a sound for the leaves, for example, which is a more localized sound where I want players that comes nearby this tree, this palm tree, to hear the leaves on uh, uh, the leaf sound with the wind. And this will be played on top of the background wind sound. So in order to do something like this, you go uh, into, again, the sounds collection. And there's actually a sound here, which I like to use for this purpose, which is the cherry tree loop full. So this is... Um, the sound I like to use for this type of situation so I just drag and drop here for this situation it's important that you place exactly the origin of the sound where it should be where you want it to play here now it's important that you come into the options of the sound queue and override attenuation and then you just go and attenuation distance here so you see 
the small sphere is where the play uh, the, the sound will be played at full volume and then it will start to attenuate immediately uh, as soon as it leaves this sphere and this will be the maximum range on which the, the sound can be heard so this is too, too far away from the tree uh, this sphere is actually good uh, the good a good size but the, the big sphere is too big so in order to set up the, 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 the sphere size of the sound you come to inner radius which is the smaller sphere here which is okay this this is fine here and I want just to reduce the falloff distance which is the maximum distance for the attenuation so for example player that will be, be, be here will not hear the sound while someone inside of the sphere will hear the sound of course for this situation a sphere spheric shape attenuation is actually the proper way to do it but if it what about if it's a, a room for example let's say I want to play a sound uh, inside the, the room then perhaps uh, a more a uh, different shape will be more uh, adequate so let's say that I would like to play a certain um, sound in inside the um, the room let's say a slot machine sound this uh, this uh, slot machine sounds cues have a delay added to them so if I just double click I'll see that they have uh, s some additional options here in this case they have a certain attenuation already uh, pre-set up into the slot machine sound they start with the delay so for example again these options you can pull them from the right li the, the list on the right here like the delay so in this uh, sound when I uh, when I was designing uh, the sound for bad beat and I wanted to place the slot machine sound on the ground uh, ground floor of the casino what I did here was added attenuation a spheric attenuation in this particular si situation then added a delay so basically this um, sound will be played with a certain delay that will be ranged between 15 seconds and 360 seconds so basically it's a random delay that will be a value between these two if I wanted to be an exact amount of delay I would put the same value in both fields and then I want it to loop again so uh, let's say that the sound plays it will take 15 seconds between this amount of time to play and then I want it to loop again let me exemplify this by reducing this, the, 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 the time here between two seconds and uh, five, sec uh, five seconds here as you can see these modules uh, allow the, the sound to the original sound to add to have additional properties until output and then it goes back because there's a looping module it goes back to playing the sound again this delay I set up to between 2 and 5 but you can set up again for any amount of time there's many other options and properties you get that you can play around with and this will allow you to create your own cues but make sure when you save your cue or your sound you need to save us and place inside your mod folder otherwise if you make changes to uh, default sounds cue la cues like this one and you export your map those uh, changes and to the properties will be ignored through the export process unless they are saved in your mod folder so again let's go back to the ground floor here and let's uh, I want to add get any kind of sound just for example um, let's see 
what can I use here? But this one is nice. So basically, this will be a background music for the casino to be played inside the room. So what I will do is just pull into the room. It will generate the spheric uh, by default, but I don't want the spheric attenuation. So in this particular situation, what I will go do is override attenuation. We'll change the attenuation shape to a box. And we'll set up the box size for the attenuation of this sound and then define what will be you see here the attenuation so I want people that come at least at the door can hear the sound so something like this this will make sure that the sound will be played within a box shape attenuation inside the room if you if uh, you want to change uh, the volume you can come to volume multiplier here and increase the volume or decrease the volume it's the shortcut actually to do to do so so this covers the the way to design your map sounds from the global sound to the localized sound if thank you for watching if you have any questions please reach out to us on discord Thank you.